Beyonce is going on tour and girl, it's causing breakup, divorces and all this stuff because over these ticket prices, friends falling out, people fighting and carrying on because honey, they're trying to spend the mortgage money to go get Beyonce uh, tickets. And so we have, I have a, a text uh, from a couple who are engaged to get married and she want to use the money to go buy Beyonce tickets. And the man is like, uh -uh, I'm calling off this marriage. And I'm like, high five brother, you have to pay attention to the red flags. You have to make sure this woman you are marrying can submit to you, honey. Beyonce is looking real good up here, babe, but I'm not about to spend no mortgage money to go see her now. Girl, no, absolutely not. But then I don't really care for her like that. But still, the most I was willing to pay for my husband to go see Janet Jackson, because my husband loved Janet, was $800. I would, I would, I would pay $800 for my husband to go see Janet. He would be mad about it. <laughs> and I would have to get two tickets for him and his best friend. But um, I mentioned it to him, my husband, for not even, and he was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> It's Saturday morning. I absolutely love you. It's about 6.30 a.m. my time in the Northeast. Sun is coming out. It's almost spring, girl, and I still don't have no snow. I got a little dust in the other day. But I want to thank you for your love and your support. So we're going to talk about submission this morning. Because, ladies, how many of you know you must know how to submit to a man, to your husband, the one you want to marry? But what we talked about, what submission is, submission about is about submitting to his vision. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up. Share this out if you can. Husband profile, today is your last day. Today is your last day to sign up for the husband profile because this is week number two. And after week number two, it's too much for you to catch up. As a matter of fact, I have about four one-on-ones today because I had four sign up this week. So after about two weeks, it's too much to catch up because I have to do one-on-ones. You have to read the reading portion of 62 pages. Then you would have to watch last week's class to catch you up to this week. And then you would have to watch two classes. So it's just too much. So today is the last day. I'm going to shut it down uh, tonight after the class ends. And that's it. You, If you have want to sign up, then you would have to wait for the next time around, which is maybe summer. I'm just not sure. So thank you for your love and support. Be sure to check my video that I did on Married at First Sight. Girl, we need to do a live on Married at First Sight because the men on Married at First Sight, they are the worst this season. But anyways, so Beyonce came out and the tickets, honey, are costing so much. And uh, StubHub uh, has tickets for $10,000 for the floor seat. And then it goes to 8K, 5K, 2.5K. And then the, the nosebleed seats are up into the hundreds. Well, somebody else came out and said, that's not true, blah, blah, blah. And these are the prices from Ticketmasters. But girl, they're still like eight or $9,000, okay? And so some of the basic tickets that the basic people would get was costing about a $2,000. And people are like, oh my God, that's a mortgage. Why is she charging so much? Listen, it's her business she can charge whatever she wants i have no problems <clears throat> i have no problems with people charging what they want to charge because it is their business i mean i am charging a very very minimal fee for my class and the ladies have i uh, have already told me janice you should have cost more but because this is the introductory to the husband profile but the next time in the summer oh it's gonna go up a little bit so i don't have any problem with people charging how much they want to charge because i don't have to buy the ticket and i don't have to come to see you i am wearing my black history uh month uh, black history shirt black history period okay so then there is this text message going around from this couple and i'm going to read it for you she says babe uh i love he said yeah babe he she says i love you he says i love you too what's going on um, you see how they start out with is that my mother messaging me Ugh. uh let me blow this up a little bit so y'all can see <clears throat> she says she says, babe, I really want to go to the Bay concert. It's in July and pre-sale for tickets is 216. You don't have to get me a, a Valentine's Day gift or a birthday gift. I just want to see Beyonce, please. Ooh, child. 
So then she sent the thing. She's going to Nashville, Tennessee, and registration for the Group C is February 16th. So Group C, girl, that's like nosebleed. Okay, that is nosebleed. So he says, come on now. We agreed to not spend money on entertainment until we save enough for our house. We have been saving 10 months. Can't do it, babe. Sorry. She says, I'm begging you. She doesn't do concerts often. This is a once in a lifetime thing. This would really make me happy, babe. Please. Then he says, you told me last year engagement would really make you happy. I did that. So stop right there. I got a problem with that. I have a problem with that. So she wanted to get engaged. Let me close my blinds, y'all. I'm sorry. She she told you that an engagement would make her happy, so you propose. So does that mean you really don't want to get married to her? You're just doing it to make her happy? Because, you know, you can't stay in a marriage because it will make somebody else happy. Marriage is give and take. Both people should benefit from marriage. So my question I would want to ask him is, do you really want to marry her? Do you really want to spend the rest of your life with her? Do you want to spend the rest of your life loving her, providing her for her, and protecting her? Or are you just getting married to her to make her happy? So he says, he says, you told me last year engagement will really make you happy. I did that. Then you said a house would really make you happy. We made a deal to not waste money on stuff like that. Her ticket starts at $600 for nosebleed without taxes and fees. We can't do it. Once we get this house, we can have fun, stay focused. Okay, so now she wanted an engagement would make her happy. You did that. A house would make her happy. You did that. So sorry, since I don't like you're doing everything for her, but what is the give and the take for you? It seemed like you're doing stuff because that's what she wants, but I don't see where you're putting your part in here. So then she said, no. So it's a no. When the tickets go on sale, they won't last long. She will be sold out in hours. I'm begging and you're still saying no. She He says no. Then she says, stay on course, babe. We will talk about this later. I love you. She says, wait, some of that money is mine, though. I know I gave you at least $1,000 towards the house fund. Please give me uh, my money and I will pay you back. All right, right there. Right there. Brothers, you know she can't submit to the vision. See, submission is not about doing what I want to do or do 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 what you want to do. Submission is about the vision. And so right now, they're not married yet. Submission is for husbands only. But anyways, they've agreed that we're not going to spend no money on entertainment. And, and we're going to put this money to, towards, the, the, we're going to save towards this house. I don't have a problem with a woman also saving towards this house. You know the economy we're living in. And the more you put down is the less your mortgage will be. I would really prefer not to have to. But if you have to, I'm okay with that, okay? So now she's asking for the money back. She said, he said, are you serious, Shaquita? Shaquita, tell me you're joking. She says, I'm very serious. When can I pick it up? So he says, you're telling me Beyonce is more important than our dream house. We have been saving 10 effing months for. You contributed $710 to the fund. The rest is me. You promised to be responsible. Oh, sorry, y'all was a scene. You promised to be responsible. So right there, sir, right there, she is not financially responsible and she promised to be responsible. So brothers, if a woman has problems with money, you don't need to marry her. If she's irresponsible with money, she's a shopaholic, she has no accountability, she has no respect for money, she has no relationship with money, brothers, you do not need to marry her because she is supposed to be the manager of the home and the distributor of the home of putting the money here, go where, where. So by him saying to her, you promise to be responsible, that let me know she got problems with money. She says, I want my money. He says, okay, I'll withdraw today and you can pick it up. The engagement is off. I need a break. She says, what? So you're breaking up with me for asking for my money? Fine. Text me when I can pick it up. Girl, this is scandalous. Isn't it crazy how... 
How, uh, how, <laughs> Lord have mercy. I want to know what y'all think about this. I think this, sir, give that woman that money and run to the hills from whence cometh your help. You don't need to marry her. Your marriage is going to be problem. She's the one that's going to be asking for the bands and you don't need the bands. She's the type of woman who's going to be living in the hood versus moving to a better school system so your her kids could go to good, better schools. Sir, give that woman her money and run to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help comes from cousin, Sister Janice. And with that, I got to go. Cousins, let me know what you think. Remember, sign up for the husband profile today. Today, today is the last day. I have payment plans and so on and so forth. Sign up for it today. Doors are closing tonight. I love you. Let me know what you think. Mwah! Talk to you later. Bye.